Alright, greetings from Budapest. Today, the first day I can actually go in the center and see the city, and that's wonderful. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I was wondering why the people in the this uh, green jacket sitting there. So I call around this place and I came to ask, and there's some uh, reality show shootings in the hotel near, so everybody kind of, I don't know, check in that everything going smoothly. All right, so with the room I arrived, the guest house it looks like that. I have, for some reason, <laughs> space <laughs> for three people. All, all the minimum is here, spacious room. So, so not, not really too much to <laughs> tell more. So after I checked in, it's time to find something to eat. Pretty hungry already. Look at this street. So I found some uh, restaurant where you can get some Hungarian food and it looks pretty good. It's in Astoria Hotel. And you can check the view. So I ordered some goulash soup as a starter and uh, some cocktail, Bora Bora. And now let's try the soup first. Oh, there's pretty big pieces of the meat. So I will have later some chicken paprika. Yeah. This chicken paprika, it was really good. There was something, some kind of potato dumpling with it, and it was really good. And the chicken overall. Yeah. I am trying to get steel to the Danube River <laughs> to check how it is, and I really haven't yet seen parliament been there for a few days haven't seen parliament so i was walking in the center and i found the place with six corners so one there two three this is fourth this is fifth five corners and one of the also special things that we have the most the fanciest little i have ever seen all right so i arrived to the bridge of Elizabeth, not the, the Elizabeth you might think about, but it's the Elizabeth, the Queen of Bavaria, pretty popular one. And from here I can see the citadel. And I first saw this dude, I thought it's like some statue to a person who broke his leg doing something, but it's <laughs> just as Shakespeare. All right, <laughs> I arrived. Here it is, the Budapest Parliament. Construction of this building took 19 years and it's made mainly of materials found in Hungary, except some few stuff from Sweden. Also, there were some shootings at some point, don't really know the history about that. Yeah, so the Another side of the building was pretty, pretty beautiful as well. I think even better than the front one. Look at that beauty. Another interesting fact is that the architect of the parliament couldn't really see the ready building as it got blind before its completion. There is some feeling of emptiness after I saw this building. Hard to <laughs> find something much better. So as my challenge, my current challenge is to come to the hotel without any map. I was walking straight from the parliament till now, till here. And I think at this point I need to turn right and then walk along this street. And then at some point I hope I will see something familiar, some familiar places. You know what? I actually got lucky. I found this street behind me with some trees 
and I remember the street. I was walking from the street somewhere and if I understand try it for this place then I was walking to the wrong direction. So this street with trees saved my saved me a lot of time. I actually should not go along this street. I need to go there along this. Now it feels like I'm on the right street. So this looks a little bit familiar at least some parts of the center when there's rails and some strange dotted path there so if it's the right street then by going straight I will get to the hotel I will sleep let's see how it will end up and I'm a little bit confused where I am <laughs> perfect content there are Bob Utsa which probably means Bob Street and I've been on that street before I think I'm getting closer to the hotel and it's probably the right street after all I found the New York cafe and that's how it looks like it means that if I go straight there then I will find my hotel So now the main goal for me is to get to this Buddha castle. Here's by the way where you buy the tickets. So I took a bus through the uh, Danube river to the Buddha part of the city. And now I'm trying to find the way <laughs> to the Buddha castle. I'm pretty confused, not really sure how I will get there. Now there's funiculars on another side, but it will take some time to find them. I'll just climbing some random stairs. All right, so the stairs were not a right way. And what I found is that probably I will take this. So here's the place with funiculars. Great. So I got the tickets, 3,000 forints. Next building to visit was Fisherman Bastion. Its name comes from the Fisherman's Guild, which protected it. The number of Bastion's towers there symbolize the seven tribes, which formed Hungarian nation. When it was decided to turn the Bastion into a tourist attraction, the plan of restoring the church was presented. The plan was laughed at by the government, but 25 years later, the bold designer Schulich reached his goal. So I have seen the Buddha castle and the fisherman bastion and it's a great achievement for today. So I don't really have much time left. Here I need to prepare for my flight and go to the airport and that's what I will do.